The month of January has come to a close. That's crazy. I have no idea how that happened so fast. And there was a lot of things that I loved in the month of January. And so welcome to my favorites video. I've been filming favorites videos on TikTok and Instagram for the last few months just to see how you guys liked them and you guys have really been enjoying it, which makes me happy because I love watching favorites videos. It feels very like throwback YouTube in the best way possible. And I wanted to bring it over to my YouTube channel so that I could give you guys more, give you a more extended version of my favorites because sometimes I have to cut things out to keep the time frame for TikTok and Instagram. So welcome to my January favorites in full format. Let's get into it. Okay, I have a lot of stuff next to me. I think we're gonna start with skincare and we'll go from there. Number one, La Roche-Posay. This is their gentle foaming cleansing oil. Let me tell you why this is so fantastic. It cleanses your skin without over drying it. It actually adds moisture though with the oil as it cleanses. It's magical. It leaves your skin feeling so clean, not like greasy at all. 10 out of 10 recommend if you have dry skin, especially in the winter time, this is incredible. Next up is this Hyaluronic Acid Serum from La Roche-Posay. Y'all, this has made a repeat appearance multiple times in my favorites videos, and there's a reason for that because it's absolutely phenomenal. It changes your skin the moment you put it on, and that is so incredible. Like, instantly your skin feels more hydrated, and I don't even have words to describe how much I love this. The only downside to this is it's kind of expensive, but if you're willing to invest, this will change your skin. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm almost out, which makes me really, really sad. Oh yeah, there's like literally nothing left. Tragic. <laughs> so technically this is an empty and I would repurchase if it wasn't so expensive. I am not that wealthy, but I am a huge fan. They did send this to me transparently, but wow, 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 wow. If you have the money to spend, spend it on this. This snail mucin essence from COSRX has been a favorite of mine for a really long time. I actually don't think I've ever mentioned it in a favorites video though. And I was thinking when I was looking at my products, picking out my faves, I was like, this one has to be included because every time I have ever removed this from my skincare routine, I break out like a mofo. When I put it back in, my skin clears up. I don't understand how the snail mucin does that, but it's magical and I quite literally can't remove it from my skincare routine. So it's now a permanent favorite. It's super cheap on Amazon and I genuinely love this. I had two moisturizers that I loved in the month of January, one for daytime, one for nighttime. The daytime is from Dew Skin. I've never purchased from them before, but I honestly fell victim to a TikTok ad for this. So I did spend my own money on this. I wanna say it's probably like $65, which is kind of steep for a moisturizer. But if there's something I'm gonna splurge on ever, it's gonna be a moisturizer. So I was okay with it, but you only get one face. My mom always taught me that. You only get one face, Nikki, so you gotta treat it right. So I did. And this is the Instant Angel Lipid Rich Moisturizer. I would say this is really good if you have maybe combination to dry skin. If you have super oily skin, this is probably not something that you want because it's definitely like a really rich moisturizer. However, it's incredible. I put it on in the morning and I don't feel like the moisturization like wears off throughout the day like I do with other moisturizers. This lasts the whole day. It's incredible. It definitely has changed my skin. I really, really like it. And then for nighttime, y'all know, y'all know about this one. She has been a favorite for months now and I don't know if she's ever gonna leave. This is the one super expensive skincare product that I would spend my money on because it's so good. They did send this one to me, but when I run out, I will spend the absurd amount of money that it costs to rebuy this because it has changed my skin. It's from L'Occitane, it's their Immortal Face Cream. You put this on your skin at night and you wake up in the morning and it's soft as a baby's freaking butt. Like I don't, I don't know what's in it. It's quite literally immortal. It makes your face immortal. I don't know, 10 out of 10. It's so good, well worth the price. This is like a super nice gift too for somebody in your life. I just, Valentine's Day, men pay attention. This is a good one to give your lady because it's like genuinely changed my skin. So, so nice. This next one is what I've been using to remove my makeup for the last like two months. I don't remember if I had this in my December favorites, but I was searching on Amazon a couple months ago for a new cleansing balm, which I love cleansing balms in general because I just think that they remove your makeup so well. Even like waterproof mascara just like melts off your face. 
and I was buying one from Elemis that was a little bit more expensive and I kind of wanted one that was more affordable because I'm not trying to be too high maintenance. <laughs> and so I was looking around and the reviews for this one on Amazon were incredible. And it's only like, I want to say 10 bucks. It's from You Can Be and it's a cleansing balm. And apparently according to the reviews, it's a really good dupe for the one from Pharmacy. I've never used that one personally, but this stuff is great. I will repurchase this once I run out, like I've almost run out actually, um, because it's really, really good at removing your makeup. It has not made me break out at all. I just, I overall very much love this. Moving into body care. This has been a favorite of mine you guys have seen for the last several months. And I don't think it's ever gonna leave my favorites list because I don't think I can live without this <laughs> now that I know that it exists. It's from L'Occitane. They did gift this to me, but I will repurchase this when I run out because it's absolutely phenomenal. It's replaced two products in my shower, which I love. It's the almond shower oil. And this is incredible, number one, for shaving. You've never had a closer shave in your life than with this stuff. It smells phenomenal too, which is a bonus. And then secondly, it's an oil, but it lathers. I don't understand it. <laughs> but it lathers and you can use it as your body wash as well. And it leaves your skin feeling just so silky soft. I've never found something like this ever. Like I didn't even know that something like this could exist that could be an oil that also lathers somehow. It's also really good as a bath oil. I have nothing bad to say about this. It's absolutely incredible. I had two body moisturizers that I loved in the month of January. The first one is from L'Occitane. It's their milk concentrate. This, especially after you shave and shower with the shower oil, Following up with this, so good. Leaves your skin feeling super silky soft. It smells really good. It's kind of like a floral scent. And I find that this is like not greasy at all. I feel like because it looks, it's almost empty. Um, it looks like a butter. And so you would think it would leave your skin feeling kind of greasy, not at all. This is phenomenal. I love it a lot. This one is definitely a heavier body butter, but I've really enjoyed it. Youth to the People actually said this to me transparently, but they're not paying me to tell you that I really love it. It's their Hydrate and Glow Dream Body Butter. It smells like citrusy. I believe it's yuzu that it smells like, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I love Youth to the People as a brand in general, but this leaves your skin feeling so hydrated and literally glowing. I would say it's definitely on the heavier side. Definitely leaves my skin feeling like really, really moisturized. Not greasy, I don't wanna say that, but like it definitely like takes a little bit to soak in because it's so thick and so hydrating. But if you have dry skin, this is what you want. Wow. There were two perfumes that I loved in the month of January. The first one is almost gone. I loved it so much. Actually, they're both from Sol de Janeiro. I used to be like a really big Sol de Janeiro girl when I first started working as a nurse. The like beachy scented one and I wore it all the time and then I kind of burnt out of it and I forgot about it. And then last summer I rediscovered Sol de Janeiro and now I can't stop, won't stop because they keep releasing new scents. And I'm like, well, I must have the new one. So that's what happened with this one, which is the after hour scent. It's Jasmine and Amber Woods. Definitely very jasmine-y, but not in like an offensively floral kind of way. It's like a warm, musky, sexy smell. And that is my preference for my daytime and nighttime wear. And because this one was almost running out, I went and bought the new one that they just released a couple weeks ago, the 59, which is Vanilla Orchid, Sugared Violet, and Sheer Sandalwood. Listen, Linda, if you are a vanilla girly, they've done it with this one. I don't feel like any of their other scents have been particularly vanilla forward until this one, and it has changed my life. Like, I wanna, I wanna bathe in it. I want my whole world to smell like it. It smells so good. Love it, 10 out of 10. The last body care favorite of mine is a deodorant. And the native deodorant has been on my favorites list for the last like couple months, I wanna say. But here's the pro tip, okay? Once upon a time, I went to Target to buy my native deodorant because I'm really trying to be a natural deodorant girl because the aluminum does like terrible things for your hormones. And so I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall in love with natural deodorant, I'm going to. And I liked the women's ones a lot. I was buying them for a long time. And then one time on accident, I bought the native men's deodorant. And I was like, wait a minute, it worked better. Oh my God, maybe this is the secret. So now I only buy the men's native deodorant and I swear to God, I think it works better for whatever that's worth. This one is the ocean and timber smell, which smells just like fresh and kind of beachy. Like I don't think that this particularly smells like a man. I don't know if it smells like a man, it smells like a sexy man. 
Either way, I have loved this. I think it works so good and definitely better than the women's. I don't know if there's any science to back that, but it's really good. Okay, let's talk about the makeup that I loved in January. First up, this primer from Revolution. This is the Color Correct Primer. I'm a very pink girl. Like, I just feel like I always am giving cherry tomato. <laughs> and so I bought this on a whim, kind of not thinking it was gonna work that well because it's not super expensive, but wow, has this blown me away. You put this on and immediately the red is canceled out of your face. It's incredible. I love it. 10 out of 10. Next up, I believe I talked about this in my last month's favorites, but listen, I don't think I'm ever gonna use a regular foundation or tinted moisturizer product ever again after being spoiled by this beauty complexion stick from Merit. It's awesome. I think this is a really great product too if you're somebody that doesn't really like to wear a lot of makeup or makeup is new to you because it's so buildable. It's a stick, literally, so it's great for traveling, doesn't spill, won't break, and you can put a little bit on and make it a really light coverage look, almost like a tinted moisturizer, or you can build it up and make it more full coverage, and I just think this is the best product. It's so easy to blend. I, I have nothing bad to say about it. I will repurchase this once this one runs out because I love it so much. With that, I have been loving the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This is almost like a highlighter. I don't know if this is even gonna like show up on camera. Here, let's put it on my hand. I use this almost like a bronzing drops because I'm not, I'm too fair for bronzing drops. They tend to make me look like I'm mismatched from my neck to my face. But I find that this just gives me a really nice glow under my complexion stick. And I'm such a fan. Hopefully that's coming off on camera. Um, Love this. I call it the tiger stripe method. I do lines of this and then in between lines of this on both sides. And then I blend it all in together. What a combo. I have re-fallen in love with dibs. These little two-ended sticks are so genius. Also, I don't know what they put in it, but it smells like marshmallows. <laughs> I love that. This is in the shade number two. I think they have names now, but back when they sent this to me, it was just numbers, at least the ones that I got. So this is number two. I really love this because it's a dual ended product. So you got your blush stick on one side and these are like really pigmented. And on the other side you have your bronzer and I just feel like they are so easy to blend. Again, very user friendly. I love that it's two products in one for the sake of travel. And I just honestly, I, I put it away for a little while cause I had used it a whole bunch and I pulled it back out this month and now I'm obsessed again. And there's a reason for that because it's so good. The other cheek product that I have been using a lot in January is this blush from Merit Beauty. It's in the shade Terracotta, which sells out all the time because it's beautiful. It's like the perfect, it looks brown, I feel like, but it's almost like an apricot peachy color on me. I really feel like it just looks like the perfect sun-kissed flush not like an overt, like really in your face blush necessarily, just sun kissed and I love it. Okay, next up we gotta talk about hair. I loved, again, these two from L'Oreal. I think these have been in my favorites videos for the last like four months and I don't think they're gonna leave because they're just so awesome and they're affordable, which we love. This is the L'Oreal Replumping Serum. I think this is a really good dupe for the Pureology 21 Benefits. Like you put this in your hair and immediately it's softer. It's magical. And then combined with the leave-in heat protectant, the heat slayer spray, these two, what a duo. Leaves your hair feeling so soft. I just, I love. So I wash my hair and I put these in. And then this last month I rediscovered day hair. Here's the thing. This day three in one styling cream, you've seen everybody and their mother use on the internet probably for slick back looks because it's really great for that. Truthfully, it doesn't leave your hair super crunchy, but it definitely keeps those flyaways back. However, I put it away when I cut my hair off because I don't really do slick back looks anymore because I don't have enough hair for that. And I pulled it back out one day and I was reading the bottle and it says to put it in your hair before you blow dry it too. And I was like, well, wait a dang minute. I've been missing out. So I did and wow. She calms the frizz in magical ways, which is something I really struggle with because I have really fine hair and she tends to catch the wind a lot and just get super staticky and frizzy. This really helps with that. And it also smells Oh my God, it smells like an orange field and I really, really love it. So don't forget that this is good for more than just slick back looks. For whatever that's worth to you, I loved this in January. I also rediscovered in January 
Batiste dry shampoo for dark hair. I love a good dry shampoo, mostly because my shoulders totally messed up and it's really hard for me to do my hair. It's like really painful. So I try to extend my hair wash days as long as I can, which has been a little bit harder since I cut my hair. I feel like the oil tends to like get to the middle of my hair faster because I just have less of it. And I was looking for a dry shampoo that wasn't gonna leave such an awful white cast. I, no matter how hard I try to like blend it in, I still struggle with the white cast. And so I rediscovered this. I forgot that it existed. If you have dark hair, they also make this for red hair. This is awesome. Also, if you have gray hair like I do right now, hopefully actually this is covering it. This is really good for some gray coverage in between hair touch-ups for whatever that's worth. And Batiste in general, I think is really, really great for soaking up all the oil. Like sometimes I find that dry shampoos make my hair oilier, but this one does a really, really good job of just like soaking it up and making your hair feel nice and clean. It doesn't smell like super in your face because sometimes I feel like dry shampoos are just too much. I loved this one in January, huge fan. Okay, I have one more beauty favorite before we move into like the food and life favorites. And it's this. It might be covered in cat hair, I'm really sorry. My cat Bella decided that she wanted to lay on this and I keep it under my desk and that's where she lays sometimes. So now it's covered in Bella hair. She sends her love. <laughs> but this is from Manicurist and they did send this to me, but they're not paying me to tell you that I like it. And they're also not paying me to keep using it, but it's the only thing that I use on my nails. I've been doing my nails at home to save some money and also because I have raging ADHD and it's really hard for me to go to the nail salon and sit still for like two, the two hours that it takes to get a pedicure and a manicure. I just don't have that in me. And I would rather do it myself and save the money. And this is the most user-friendly nail kit I have ever used. The most magical part of it, you can go check out my TikTok videos on it, is the removal, which is the only thing that has ever stopped me from doing gel nails at home in the past, is how much of a pain in the ass it is to scrape off the old gel polish, not with this. You put the little nail polish remover cotton pads on your nail, put the clips over it, let it sit for like less than five minutes, maybe like two minutes I think is how long I let it sit for, and the polish literally comes off in just one piece. It's absolutely magical. Go watch my videos on it, it's so cool. Um, but, so this is what I've been using on my nails. I haven't gotten like an actual manicure in a salon in a couple months now because I've just been using this. So go check out my videos if you wanna see like more of how it works, but love, love, love. Good work, manicurist. I don't know what you put in that remover, magical. Okay, let's talk about like a lifestyle favor really quick before we go into clothing and food. Y'all got me on Akatar. It's your fault, I blame you. Actually, just kidding, thank you. I am almost done with this. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with reading this, which is saying a lot because once again, I have raging ADHD. I can't sit still to save my life, especially to read unless it's really good. And this is so good. It gives Hunger Games, but with like a fantasy element to it. It also gives Beauty and the Beast in some elements. I don't know how to fully describe it other than it has a female lead who is a badass and we love to see that. I hate when they make female leads weenies like Twilight. Y'all fucked us up with that because it's just Bella was never a strong girl and I don't want a strong girl as my lead character in a book and this one has it all. It's exciting. Like every chapter ends on a cliff where I'm like, oh my God, I must read the next chapter. And that's rare for me. Love this. It's a series. So I have the next book in this, which is so cute. I had to show you this. This is my new book carrier so that your books don't get all like mucked up. Cause I take my books to the gym with me to read in the sauna after I work out. And so I like to keep them enclosed in this in my gym bag so they don't get like nasty or stuff spilled on them. Um, so I have the next book ready to roll. A Court of Mist and Fury, Sarah J. Mass, ma'am, ma'am. I don't know where all this came out of in your noggin, but it's a magical place and we're just honored to have it. All right, let's go through my clothing favorites. Number one has been this jacket from Walmart. Yeah, Walmart, affordable, we love to see it. And how cute is this for Valentine's Day? I've been excited about Valentine's Day since the beginning of January. I feel like it's a part of my post Christmas blues to just jump right into Valentine's Day. So my house is all decorated for Valentine's and I bought this like in early, early January cause I was like, I have to have it. It's so warm and cozy. I wanna say it was like 15 bucks and look how freaking cute it is. So I've been wearing this all the time, love it. Next up, these leggings. 
I got them in brown, which are in the wash right now in January, and I have been obsessed with them. This is a different color, but it's the same style from Fabletics. The Crossover Pure Lux Leggings is what these are. They suck you in in ways that you only dream of while also somehow still being comfortable. I don't know how they've done it. It's pretty magical, good work Fabletics, but I have bought these in so many different colors and I bought them in a dark brown in January and I've been wearing them constantly, which is why they're in the wash. So I got these so I could show you, but they have pockets too. And these are just like, they're so well made, which to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of the other styles of Fabletics leggings. Like I kind of feel like the sizing is a little funky sometimes, or they don't really feel like they sit nicely like on my hips, like where I want them to. But these, the perfect rise, they like, the V doesn't come up, the V doesn't come down super low or anything like that. I just, 10 out of 10 in the dark brown has been my jam in January. Okay, I have one home favorite before we go into like the food favorites. And it's this hot cocoa and cream candle from Bath and Body Works. Listen, I don't know how they got her to smell so chocolatey, but I love it. It just makes my house smell like hot chocolate and <laughs> that I really, really love. Also love this. This is transitioning into food favorites because this brewmate, she's magical. Why? Because you can tip her upside down and she don't spill not a drop. I love this thing. They sent it to me full transparency, but this is the best like tumbler that I've ever found. Forget the Stanleys, okay? Unpopular opinion. I loved the Stanleys once upon a time, but once I discovered this brewmate, I ain't never gone back. Okay, I can't, cause this is so good, cause it's so leak proof. The Stanleys aren't even a little bit leak proof. <laughs> so I genuinely drank water out of this and this only for the entire month of January. And I don't think I will ever stop. It's the best look, you just lock it and then boom, 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 nothing. Okay, we've made it to the final chapter, food and beverginos for my beverginos. You guys, it's your fault. You guys got me into the true lime. I'm almost out, so I need to order more. With the caffeine-free Diet Coke has been my jam, but with the True Lime, oh my God, so good, so yummy. Also for Beverginos, my favorite pre-workout in the month of January has been from Milani New and it's the Cherry Twist. They did send me cans of them as well, but I drank them all <laughs> because this flavor is like cherry limeade in all of the best ways. That's one of my favorite like flavors of things in general is cherry limeade. And so when they came out with this, I just knew I was gonna love it and wow. So I'm onto the powder now because I ran out of the cans and I just, I'm obsessed. The flavor is so yummy and it's the best pre-workout. This pre-workout does not make you itchy. I don't know how people drink these though, like for like their morning caffeine. You guys are built different. That would give me heart palpitations. I only drink this before I go work out and this is awesome because it doesn't make you like itchy like other pre-workouts. I think this is a really good like introductory pre-workout if you've never used one before because it doesn't have any of the like extra stuff in it that some pre-workouts can have. Um, it still gives you like a really good little boost to get your booty to the gym and working hard. Okay, love it. After the gym, I've been obsessed with two different things. Actually this, I've been obsessed with 24 hours a day. Built Bar, come on. What you put in this is so good. This tastes like a candy bar. This does not taste like a protein bar. I, I've never like looked forward to a protein bar more in my life than these freaking built bars. They sent me a pack of like two or four or something like that a couple months ago. And I loved them so much. I purchased the variety pack this last month and I've just been fiending for them. Oh my God. I literally look forward to after my workout solely to eat my built bar. They have built puffs and built bars and I got to try both. I like both for different reasons. The built bars, a little bit heavier, a little bit more to chew if you want that after a workout. All the flavors are good. Haven't tried one that was bad. And then these are the puffs and the puffs are giving like chocolate covered marshmallow in texture. None of the flavors are bad. The churro one specifically, wow. Coconut, also good. This is my last one in the variety pack. I ordered more. They're not gonna be here for a couple days and I'm like really sad. So it's the last one. After my workout, I also have been enjoying my eggnog cleans the bleeds. Listen, I know it's very after Christmas and seasonally it doesn't really make sense, but I really enjoyed putting it with strawberry banana, like frozen fruit. Like I get the frozen strawberry banana mix and then I mix it with this and then a Greek yogurt, like a plain Greek yogurt and it makes like a little smoothie bowl and I put some granola over it. 
10 out of 10. Do you have a code for Clean Simple Eats if you wanted to try it yourself so you can save some money? It's Nicole with two E's at the end. Get you some. The last thing on my favorites list. I have bought in every flavor that exists. I discovered these gosh dang drizzlicious rice cakes at Big Lots. I was there Christmas shopping and I was really hungry. And so I picked up these s'mores ones, which are still my favorite flavor, I think. I don't know, they're all so good. And I didn't think they were gonna be that good. I just was like, oh, it's gonna be like a cute little snacky for the way home. And I ate half the bag in like my car ride home because they're so yummy. They're little mini rice cakes. Let me open it up so I can show you. Little mini rice cakes. You can have 21 pieces for 90 calories, which I find, wow, how would they do that? They're pretty small, okay? But you can have 21 pieces and they're frosted. Wait, let me get a good frosted one. Frosted. Um, they're frosted. These are the pumpkin spice. Simply delicious. Crunchy, sweet. This is my favorite like after dinner sweet tooth craving snack. I have bought them in the birthday cake flavor. Wow. S'mores, so good. Cookies and cream, also good. Pumpkin spice, good. They're on the Shamazons, they're not that expensive. I love these. We have made it through my favorites. I know there was a lot. I loved a lot of shit in January, okay? I won't apologize for it. If you're still here, hi, how are you doing? Did you get a snack at any point on the way through? A little beverageino? I love that for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to see more favorites videos in the future, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more of as we go forward. Do you want vloggies? Do you want like chat with me videos? Like you let me know. Make sure you subscribe so you don't ever have to miss my face. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.